Welcome to Nebraska News Service Top 5 Stories of the Week. I'm Nick Fullerton. For months following the pandemic, Nebraska's auditoriums and theaters fell silent. But as restrictions are starting to loosen, the Lead Center for Performing Arts has opened their doors once more. David Berman interviewed the Associate Director of Marketing and Patron Development of the Lead Center, Matthew Boring. Boring said their goal is to support artists and to bring entertainment in. That collaborative effort makes it possible to have shows. The Lead Center is following the university's guidelines for the pandemic and is ready to make changes if the industry were to shut down again. The Nebraska football team continued the sellout streak at Memorial Stadium on September 4th with the help of donors around Lincoln. Elijah Erbel reports. For nearly 60 years, Nebraska football has sold out every home football game that they've played. That's 375 straight sellouts, an NCAA record. That streak was in jeopardy for Nebraska's 2021 home opener against Fordham University. Almost 2,500 tickets were still unsold in the week leading up to the game. With the sellout streak on the line, Dr. Lawrence Chatters, the University of Nebraska's Senior Associate Athletic Director for Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, tried to find a solution that would allow for underprivileged youth from around the state to fill up the remaining 2,500 seats, continuing the streak. I want other young people across the state, despite what their circumstances are and their families, to be able to have access to this because it's a beautiful thing. Chatters called upon the athletic department's donors to buy the remaining tickets and donate them to deserving youth. Two anonymous donors stepped up to the plate, covering the cost. Thanks to the help of those donors, Nebraska was able to keep its NCAA record of longest sellout streaks in college football. Reporter Lena Nelson attended Art in the Garden on September 11th at the Sunken Gardens in South Lincoln. The event started at 10 a.m. and ended at 6 p.m. Jessica Meisner, local artist, said everyone is an artist and the key is using your imagination. Over 50 local artists participated and more than 150 people attended the Art in the Garden event, despite the high temperatures. A former Husker sprinter has found a career in music. For Noah Valinsky, making music is a daily outlet for his anxiety. Valinsky gained confidence as a solo artist, then formed the Noah James Band. Ethan Petrick attended one of their shows and spoke with the band. I had a lot of anxiety last year, COVID and all that stuff, and even before that. Frontman of the Noah James Band, Noah Valinsky found a way to channel his anxiety through country music. As an artist, I kind of use my writing skills as a way to grasp what I'm going through. Valinsky, a former Husker sprinter, started as a solo artist, releasing his first single, Change Your Mind, in June 2020. Hey girl, as you not, can I get you another glass of wine? After I released the EP, people would say, holy crap, it's Noah James. Walensky said he gained confidence from the recognition and set his sights on performing live. The Noah James Band says they plan on releasing their first EP in late 2021. The band will be playing at Bodega's Alley on Friday, October 1st. 27 volunteers in Nebraska City cleaned up before the annual Applejack Festival on September 11th. Sarah Mirza joined volunteers on their journey to clean up highway entrances into the city. The Keep Nebraska City Beautiful Board is working on educating the youth in Nebraska City with issues of litter. Connie Ellers, a Keep Nebraska City Beautiful Board member, said making a good impression keeps festival goers coming back year after year. The Applejack Festival runs through October 3rd. That's all we have for today. Check back next week for our next top five stories of the week. For these stories and more, visit NebraskaNewsService.net. For the Nebraska News Service, I'm Nick Fullerton.